Aflatoxins are potential cancer-causing agents. They can suppress the immune system, stunt child growth and development, and sometimes kill people and animals. It is estimated that up to 60% of maize can be contaminated with aflatoxins, in some years leading to 1.6 million disability-adjusted life years annually. Because of aflatoxin, people fall sick, farmers lose income, food prices soar, and profitability of animal industries decline. Aflatoxin also presents a barrier to trade and economic growth and is a serious obstacle to programs designed to improve nutrition and agriculture production while linking farmers to market. An innovative scientific solution in the form of a natural biocontrol has been developed by United States Department of Agriculture, Agriculture Research Service, USDA ARS. This breakthrough technology is already in wide use in the United States where growers are economically benefited. In Africa, AfloSafe was developed by IITA and partners and is proven to reduce aflatoxin contamination in maize and groundnut by 80 to 99% during crop development and post-harvest storage and throughout the value chain. Although techniques and technologies to reduce aflatoxin contamination have existed for decades, several questions have been raised by scholars and practitioners. These include the adoption of the technology, particularly by smallholder farmers, the high distribution cost of technologies, barriers in the market, and weak policy and regulatory systems in most of the countries that need the technology. To find solutions to these bottlenecks, a model for reducing aflatoxins and creating sustainable market demand for Aflasafe in the maize value chain is being piloted under the AgResults Aflasafe initiative in Nigeria. This is the first of six projects funded by AgResults, a multi-million dollar collaborative initiative of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, USAID and the governments of Australia, Canada and the United Kingdom managed by Deloitte Consulting and the World Bank. AgResult is a multi-donor funded project that uh, was developed to incentivize the innovation um, in the agricultural sector where there are gaps. Okay. Um, it is a global project, um, but then our own in Nigeria happens to be the first pilot um, that work on a particular innovation, and in this case, the innovation is aflasive, a biological control. So what AgResult does is to support the uh, driving of agricultural sector through private sector and provide incentive to kickstart um, their, their work. Um, in Nigeria, we've been working with private sector here to ensure that uh, um, there is going to be sustainability beyond the project implementation compared to what has been happening in the past. Since inception in 2012, the AgResults AfloSafe Nigeria pilot project has developed and is implementing interventions to address aflatoxin contamination and bring socio-economic benefits to smallholder farmers and others along the value chain. Interventions span from planting the crop through to harvest and entry into the market. The project has worked with private sector experts, known as implementers, who purchase and distribute AfloSafe to farmers. An implementation year begins with a process whereby small or medium agricultural business enterprises are carefully selected. After the selection process, the implementers are inducted and trained in readiness for the planting season. The approach adopted under the project is what is referred to as integrated management approach for maize uh, production and on this particular occasion on the issue of aflatoxin. And um, this uh, approach uh, caters for aflatoxin management pre-planting up onto post-harvest, which include training, uh, post-harvest uh, management like handling, sorting, warehousing, um, and the approaches that has to be taken, you know, in all these diverse areas across the value chain. Um, trainings are given, you know, uh, to smallholder farmers to engage um, in right practices along all those lines. Um, having said that, it is important to mention that policy advocacy awareness 
is also part of this integrated management approach. But more central to this is the role of the private sector that work with the smallholder farmers to ensure all these practices are put in place rightly. And this private sector, diverse of them, has been working with these smallholder farmers to ensure um, the quality that we are getting on this particular maize being produced meet the required standard um, in terms of aflatoxin reduction, you know, as it were, uh, uh, generally. Period to come in of this Apple safe technology, we don't have any medication for prevention or reducing aflatoxin contamination. And it's commonly everywhere in Nigeria and the, in particular to the mass producing communities. But with this new technology and with the assistance of Agrizolt field officers, we start recruiting farmers and ensuring that technology has been transferred to the farmers. We start with Kano and now we are entering Gombe, Adamawa. We believe that is going to get across more than 20 states of the Federation. One of the key things we did was to uh, bring uh, quite a number of uh, financial institutions um, that do agri-finance to meet with the uh, implementers to be able to look at the grey areas you know, that hasn't uh, given them the opportunity to access funds that are available in the banks on agriculture. It's been quite insightful. We've been able to learn um, how the IITA is collaborating with um, the implementers to ensure that we have um, aflatoxin-free uh, maize and uh, of course other crops, but majorly maize. My participation has given me an insight as to the challenges that um, the implementers face or the farmer out there is facing and uh, work with our team to try and see how we can come up with uh, some uh, financial solutions for the same. Implementers is the conduit through which smallholder farmers access and use AFLASAFE. The implementers also facilitate access to technical knowledge and inputs that farmers require to boost their productivity and essentially assist them from farming on a subsistence level towards becoming commercial producers. This year will be the fourth year that we've been actively working with IIT AgriZolt and it's been a good, um, it's been a good time. Um, we've had increase in our number of farmers over time and so at every point we've always had the support of AgriZolt team. Um, our farmers now have an understanding of what AfloSafe is, what its benefits are and why they should use it. Um, not only that, they've also on their own created a, a standard for their maize, you know, for their produces. Our farmers have understood the importance of um, having a safe, you know, safe, safe food, not just for, uh, for selling, you know, but also for themselves. So far, 24 implementers are working with close to 28,000 smallholder farmers cultivating maize in 11 states in Nigeria providing them with AFLASAFE, monitoring their farm management practices, aggregating their produce and linking them to premium market outlets for better market opportunities. Um, the business um, private sector comes to the smallholder farmers to let them know that they are business people. They are not coming to help here, they are coming to do business but they are coming to do business in partnership with them. So from the beginning everybody understands that this is about business, this is about profit. Private sector continue to make profit and the income of the smallholder farmers continue to grow, they will both continue to engage you know, in partnership in this approach that has been adopted. The people that introduced me on the Aflasef, they used to bring some people to buy it. That is why there is differences. Because there are some people that will ask, why is it that my own maize is higher than their own? Then from there I will tell them about the Aflasef. When I put the when I put this this very apprehensive, my own uh, plant, all the flour which I have done, it used to become very good and healthy. If you are getting like say 50 bucks, you get like 75 or 100 bucks. Because if by the time when I do not use it, some of them will, will spoil. But now it used to subguide my own maze. Anfani ta ri gba lodo awon implementer ni pe ti o ba si won ko si ba wa se le ja anfani oro ni aflasevi tori ko si ati e gbon pa ira ra awon gan na mu wa sodo wa 
So I'm funny to read the Lord on one year. So then you're about to do one guy really tattooed it to listen to your jaw. I go listen back. Yet I'm telling her that she's my matter. Unlike tell her, you want to mind me to a farmer can't see by Jetta and Rita. That mama shall jump off her lord for her be that for a dear. So I want to go out here, go back to the gitto to 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 but when you see Lu, or get key competition one in the one but a feta. So at any higher price, it drew the Batati Malulo. A lay key G. Or get key up a local police and your da, Okuama P, and when you buy one new aspect by a keta, our regret to pillow on a P, Oku Muti Wafun, did it cabu me. Coding is mainly for identification and traceability. If there is any uh, 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 mix-up with the aflasafe treated maize and the untreated one, you can be able to trace it to, to the farmers that that particular farmer is the one that actually mix or did not even use aflasafe at all. So it's uh, 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 basically for identification. These are aflasafe treated maize. They are collected from the feed by the various farmers. As you can see, we have coded all of them. And we are collecting these samples because we want to go and do a flatosin analysis in the lab. After the maize samples are aggregated, we examine them here for aflatoxin content. About 95% of the samples have very low levels of aflatoxin, let's say uh, less than 20 parts per billion, and many of them also have a lower aflatoxin content, less than 4 parts per billion. So we can say that this product, Aflosafe, is working very good at a large scale. In the four years since 2013, the AgResults Aflosafe project successfully demonstrated that private sector involvement has greatly and positively influenced delivery of Aflasafe to smallholder farmers in an efficient and sustainable manner. The project also showed that smallholder farmers can improve income as they receive a premium from the sale of their aflatoxin-safe maize in the market. Therefore, it becomes easier for resource-poor farmers to benefit from and have access to the technology and knowledge needed for its adoption. For smallholder farmers, I think one of the things that they have also seen, and there's been a lot of testimony from them, is that AgResult has created a new dimension in their approaches, you know, to agricultural practices to focus more on an agribusiness, you know, rather than just the substance way of farming. But what we've done on the project is to ensure that for every single farmland, we have the GPS of the farm that can help us to um, quantify the size of the farm. And that is where many farmers realize that their land is not as big as they used to assume because in the past it was just assumption. And if you don't understand the size of the land that you have, how do you then know what to produce and your profitability? Ag result is already helping the farmers that are within its scope to meet specification. There should be more people buying into it, knowing that they can reduce aflatoxin on the field. You know, I think that Aflasafe should expand more. There's a marked difference between the results we get using Aflasafe and other options. I have been using Aflasafe treated maize for a year and I found it to be very beneficial and it's cost effective compared to alternatives right now. Um, for us, there's no going back in terms of Aflasafe treated maize, it is the future. The question now is how much more can we really deepen the relationship we have with implementers, if you like, and buyers like ourselves. There's a difference in pricing between the regular maize and the aflasafe treated maize. Now, on nominal terms, it's more expensive. Then actually, from my experience, there is reduction in mortality, there is reduction in use of antibiotics, there is better growth rates. And for all this, I think that, yes, the premium paid for the aflasafe maize is justified. All the gain is subject to negotiation with the implementer. Before, when we don't have a, a, a flasy, the level of risk 
in consumption of maize is so high. But now that we've, uh, we've introduced as Aflasave, the rate at which the safety is increasing is, is on the high tempo. Some people that are using a Aflasave produce a maize in feed production for animal consumption, they are having high performance now. The project did not go without its challenges. There are diverse challenges that we encountered on the project. Um, first of all, is the issue of a um, consistent change in policy as it affects the issue of maize and poultry industry in Nigeria. Um, other thing that we have experienced is the issue of access to finance. Um, when there are no access to finance for private industry, small and medium enterprises, it impedes you know, their capability to grow. Other thing that we have to mention is the problem of the plant health, uh, especially as it related to the problem of fall armyworm that we are currently experiencing on maize production in this part of the world. There are also problems of hardsmen's conflict with the small older farmers that has impeached on their capability to produce as much as they want. Ag result has shown to us that um, it is possible for private sectors to work with small order farmers. And not just to work with small order farmers, but to work with small order farmers to increase their income and to help in uh, building their livelihood as well. In addition to that, Ag result has also shown that if the right mechanism is put in place, small order farmers could move from subsistence farmers to a market driven farmers. What we have seen on Ag result of recent is that aggregation of the farmers' product has increased to over 70%, which is regarded as market driven um, approach. And it's not just the aggregation that has increased, this aggregated maize is now being sold in formal markets. I think this is a unique approach that needs to be adopted in agricultural practices in general, much more in Sub-Saharan Africa. <laughs>